Greetings, Aiga Committee. We are students from Osanai High School in Kosovo. I am Dylan Ibrek. I am Aaron Jeda. And I'm Martin Istanbul. We're honored to be a part of this competition. Today we're going to talk about our project, which is cleaning polluted water with heavy metals using bio waste. Why did we choose this topic? When we talk about a developed and modern world, the first thing that comes to mind is industry. The population size requires industries to produce more and more product, but as a byproduct, a lot of waste is being produced. The waste is going directly to our farm, farmland and source of water. We decided to come up with an idea that will help us either stop the waste entering our sources of food and water or completely clean them. After long hours and hard work, we came up with an idea that will help us clean the water from heavy metals. Water is also called universal solvent, so most of the impurities that enter the water are dissolved in it. Most of these impurities are harmful to the living. Activities like coal mining, metal containing, agricultural contamination, metal corrosion, etc. release high amounts of different heavy metals. The discharge of these high amounts of submetals into water bodies leads to several environmental and health impacts. There are a lot of methods that help clean this wastewater, but they are either high cost or low efficiency. Water is the most important element for living things to survive. Right now, about 1 billion people do not have access to clean water. Around 2.5 billion people do not have access to adequate sanitation, and 6 to 8 million people die from water release diseases. We hypothesize since the materials which we are going to use have high production around the world, also these materials have high capacity as adsorbents, which will eliminate waste. In this table, they show the production of adsorbents around the world in tons. Our project has around four aims, cleaning of the water, cleaning of the environment, prevention of disease, and economic benefits. Based on the research, we decided to use 10 different bioadsorbents and we compared the efficiency to a commercial adsorbent. Adsorbents that we use are eggshells, banana peels, orange peels, chestnut shells, walnut shells, cabbages, pumpkins, sawdust, fly ash, and as a commercial adsorbent, we used activated carbon, Heavy metals used in the experiment are copper, lead, zinc, cadmium, and mercury. To complete our project, we divided the experiment into three steps. Preparation of adsorbents, collection of water polluted with heavy metals, preparation of water polluted with heavy metals. Preparation of adsorbents. Bioadsorbents were washed with normal tap water and then subjected to a hot air oven at 60 degrees Celsius for a period of time by using a mill we grinded them. The fly ash used in this experiment was collected from a power plant in Kosovo. Preparation of solution. To prepare the solution, we used nitrates of lead, copper, zinc, mercury chloride, and cadmium sulfate. First, we prepared a solution with 5 mg per liter concentration of lead, copper, zinc and 2.5 mg of liter of mercury and cadmium. Then we diluted it and we made 1 mg per liter solution of all the heavy metals. Then we took 1 gram of each adsorbent and we put them in different dishes. After adding 50 ml of water, the solutions were ready to, go to undergo the magnetic mixers. After that, they were ready to, go to be filtered by the paper. The samples were taken to the lab to be AAS tested. For that, we took the results of cleaning. When the results came in, we were astonished by the results that they showed. The least efficient absorbent we saw was sawdust, whereas the most efficient one was fly ash, cleaning more than 85% of the impurities from the water. Later on, we combined fly ash and orange peel and we got a grand total of 91% cleaning. Based on the findings, we conclude that our product manufacturing and installation is low cost and very beneficial due to its cleaning water and environment effect and an inhibitor of water spread diseases. This experiment in the future probably might be modified to size the nanoscale to achieve better efficiency. Also, chemical modifications may be done to the wastewater, so these changes may increase the absorption capacity.